up everyone, TJ here. Today we're back out in Hintertux, Austria, taking a look at a snowboard that I think a lot of you are probably pretty curious about. It's from Sean White's new company, Whitespace, and this is the Freestyle Sean White Pro. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start off talking about the tech you're gonna find in this snowboard. But first, for reference, I weigh around 150 pounds. I'm five foot 10. And we're riding this snowboard in a 154. So this is gonna be an all mountain freestyle and pipe focused snowboard. Obviously with Sean being the half pipe rider that he is, this is tailored to half pipe riding, but gonna be pretty versatile as well. It runs a full positive camber profile. So uh, true camber from contact point to contact point coming through with that more energetic, powerful, precise feeling that you'd expect out of true camber. And it's a directional twin design. So this actually is gonna have a directional outline, has a slightly longer nose than tail outside the contact points, giving you a little bit more surface area up front, as well as a half inch or 12 and a half millimeter setback. So your bindings are shifted just ever so slightly closer to the tail. You're gonna find urethane sidewalls in this snowboard. So that's the same material that skateboard wheels are made out of. It's gonna add some dampening benefits to this board, helping iron out chatter if you're going through choppy or snow, or maybe you're out there doing some all mountain focused riding, just gonna help mellow out any vibrations as you're cruising around out there, as well as what they call their velocity edge control boost, which is some mellow contact points placed right around where you're gonna mount the bindings on this snowboard. And I gotta say they are extremely mellow and we have really grippy snow out here today. So I can't speak on that too much, but that is something that's built into the design of this snowboard. And the intent is to help give you more grip on ice or firm snow. There's flax infused plates in this snowboard right underfoot. It's gonna offer some added durability and a slight dampening benefit, as well as their X wood core, which is a bamboo poplar blend and a triax fiberglass layup. So that's three directions of fiberglass in the layup of this snowboard. It's gonna stiffen the board up torsionally. And the last thing is you're gonna get a sintered base in this snowboard, which is known to be a harder, faster, more durable base material that you wanna make sure to wax often to maintain a consistent glide out there. That's gonna be it for a tech breakdown. We're gonna get into some feedback on how this thing feels out on snow. as far as the feel of the snowboard on snow let's start off talking about the flex so white space rates this board at a 7 out of 10. i don't know if i'd say it's quite that aggressive but it's definitely on the stiffer side of medium it's a pretty burly snowboard and i think it's even stiffer torsionally so if you try to twist the snowboard it's quite stiff that's going to make it very responsive edge to edge and make it more capable if you're going through choppier snow when you're cruising around outside of the park. As far as butters and flat ground type tricks go, this board is not gonna be very friendly for that type of stuff. You're gonna constantly be battling that stiffer flex and that full positive camber profile. It's difficult to find the balance points and you wanna be very aware of what's going on with your edges, making sure that downhill edge is always lifted up a little bit so you're not clipping up on snow. But one of the biggest highlights for me with this snowboard is how much pop you're gonna find. This board is very energetic, very snappy. Pretty much any tension you're able to load up in this snowboard, it's gonna give right back. It has a very heavy camber to it. I think that's something uh, that's definitely very noticeable in the overall feel of the snowboard. There's a lot of fun on the exit of butter tricks and really just all around park and freestyle type riding, whether you're trying to ollie onto rails, ollie rollers, hitting jumps. Anytime you're trying to get this board in the air, it's gonna offer some nice snap and some excellent pop. I also wanna talk about the carving experience with this snowboard. And it's kind of a mixed bag. On one end, it does offer a lot of stability. It's gonna feel confident even as you get it up to high speeds. You're not really gonna find much chatter in the snowboard. It's gonna be able to power through uh, more choppy variable terrain as well with that stiffer torsional flex but it is extremely narrow. I think this might be the narrowest snowboard that I've ever ridden in a size 154, to be honest. It's 243 millimeters at the waist. So that's gonna be very limiting as far as edge angles go. It's not conducive at all to doing Euro carves or even just more aggressive carving. There were several times today where uh, my toes were catching in the snow and I was booting out. So that can be a little bit sketchy. Very quick edge to edge transition, but super limiting when it comes to carving. And combined with that narrow waist, they actually put a longer side cut in this snowboard. A little bit above average for a 154 coming in right at eight meters. So that's gonna send you into naturally longer, more drawn out carves, which has a good feel if you open it up and you're carving at higher speeds 
but feels weird in the park, especially at slower speeds. This wasn't a board that felt comfortable right from the first lap. It took me about an hour before I started to figure it out. So uh, interesting philosophy with the design on this one. And I think uh, definitely worth highlighting those two specs specifically for you guys. And for those of you wondering how this board's gonna feel in powder, you know, it does have those couple of directional features, that slightly longer nose, so a little more surface area up front, as well as the setback. I did set this board up at reference stance today. Uh, but since it's so narrow, I think you do lose a significant amount of surface area. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's great in powder. I did one little quick pow lap beside the park today. We got lucky with some fresh snow out here and it felt okay, but it's not a board that I would intentionally take out on a deep day. And the last thing I wanna talk about is how this board felt in the park. We spent the majority of the day doing park laps out here, and this is definitely a little more aggressive, a little bit more on the jump leaning side of the spectrum. It's gonna offer a lot of stability, a lot of energy, and a lot of support, you know, gonna be capable of hitting the largest features in the park if you're trying to go for that type of progression. They do have a half pipe here, but it's mega icy, so I didn't even go in there, but you know, this being Sean White's snowboard and him primarily getting pipe shots for the marketing that they did on this one, I'm sure it's very capable in the half pipe as well with that heavy camber and the stiffer flex. Uh, so not really gonna be very conducive to jibbing. The stiffer torsional flex is gonna make that trickier as well. So not gonna be super friendly for jib progression and definitely a snowboard better suited for more experienced, more advanced park riders looking for that aggressive, energetic, stable feel. And as far as rider in mind, I'd say this could be a good choice for more experienced riders looking for that more aggressive feel and a freestyle focused riding style that's okay with a narrow waist width. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I'll have this snowboard linked down in the description below so you guys can read more about it. If you by chance have had an opportunity to ride this board already, let us know what you think about it down in the comments. You can leave any questions for me down there as well. Drop a like if you got some value. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you in a new board review soon. Take care, everybody. Sean, if you're watching, let me know when and where I'm trying to ride with you. Let's test the other boards. Hit me up.